Let him get on. The video shows me walking from over here, documenting, walking over, crossing the street, coming over, over this way, not even in front of their building. The cement is on Mario's property. You even hear me say, I am on Mario's property. Doesn't matter if I step in it or not. It's on Mario's property. Someone would take that as being the kind of No, they wouldn't. It's all because I'm I said I'm on Mario's property. It doesn't matter. Also, if I'm going back there, please explain how I'm supposed to go back there and not step on any cement. Well, I'm talking about the cement here with this during time frame. I was standing hurdled between them. Yeah, yeah, yes, I was. And it wasn't until he pushed me. Pardon? My turn to talk. Okay. I would watch the video upstairs and it shows clearly that you, while you were filming, you stopped. This is This video is before. It's my turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. Okay. The incident while I watched up there was you had your camera, you were in between people, and then your right foot stepped right in the cement. And then you were like... Okay, and it's so it's on public property. You said, you said, you know, hold on, sorry, my turn to talk now, right? You said I did this and panned and stepped in it. Oh, gee, an accident? I mean, no, 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 no. The way you're describing it, the way that you just described it, sounds like it wasn't intentionally done. So how would that be considered aggressive? That still gives somebody the right to put their hands on me? Would that give someone the right to put their hands on you? My turn? I'm asking you a question. I, I, I did. I asked you a question. Please answer it. My turn? Yes. So when you have, with your camera, it's like this. Yeah, you can see where you're stepping. No, but my thing is, you said, I did this and turned and stepped. It doesn't say that. You, what you're saying doesn't sound like I'm like, eh. Well, I don't know. That's what you just said. No, 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 no. No, no, you just, I, I saw him recording. Yeah, I didn't say, uh, I just said. No, 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 I'm saying, they said the way you're making it sound. Well, I just said the way you're you making say, it sound. You even that. say, because one could say that's aggressive. One could also say it was an accident and I didn't see where my foot was. One could also say that, yeah, what I said was true, that I was hurdled between them and I turned. Well, doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you come on my property, if you come, or better yet, if you're in front of my property and you step on some cement work that I had just done, does that give me the right to put my hands on you? Yes or no? No? Uh, you just heard it in the video. That's not what happened. That is what happened. That's not what the video says. So. Really? That's what my that's what my video okay. says. When you send that to Officer Grayson, we'll take a better look at it. And who's your supervisor, sir? Lieutenant Shank. Lieutenant Shank? S H A N K? E N K. E N K. Okay. And you're Hess? Okay. Sir, I need to get your information. I didn't get it yet. Um Come on, you guys. You have my information there. I know your name, but I don't know your date of birth or anything else like that. September 8th. Happy birthday to me. 1978. And where do you live, Kenneth? 115 South Queen Street. Lancaster, PA. Okay. Is that a house or apartment? It's an apartment. Number three. And your phone number? 717 283 3925. Email me that to that. We'll get it all together. And we'll but can you an, can you answer office. my question? We'll just show, as, wait. We'll show the DA's office and they'll make a decision. Can you answer my question as he I did? I don't know what your question. I'm going to ask it. I'm just saying. Can you yes or no answer my question? The, um, the second question I don't after know that. If I can answer. Question, okay. And I need to know what it is. If I were doing answer. concrete work in front of my house on public property, because we're you know the the building owner is responsible for the the okay. concrete in front of it according to the city, and you come by and step in my concrete. Does that give me the right to then put my hands on you for any reason and in any shape and form? I don't know. I mean, if, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you did a lot of work, if you sat here and... So you're telling me that it is completely legal? No, I'm not telling you. Oh, okay. That's what I'm asking. Is it legal? Um, you aren't, don't you know, don't you know, don't you know that, don't you know the PA title 18 criminal codes? Do you? Yeah. What's the one for harassment? What's the one for harassment? I don't know. Oh, you don't know it. I don't know anybody's getting charged with harassment yet. You don't know that the, well, simple, it's putting your hands on somebody without a due reason, such as self-defense. Where do you work, sir? I'm disabled. From what? 
an auto accident in 2005 where I was hit with a tanker truck. So putting hands on me can possibly be a life-threatening situation. Can see, oh, I'm sorry you don't know my medical history. I don't want to know your medical history. Well, you just asked. I just asked you where you worked. Well, putting hands on a disabled person who has spinal cord injuries? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, not that's aggravated time. assault. No, you just said you don't know the harassment law, so don't be saying no, it's not. Because clearly you don't know the Title 18 crimes codes, which means you shouldn't be a cop. If you don't know your crimes codes... We're offering a test if you want to take it in a couple weeks. As I said, I'm disabled with severe spinal cord injuries. And I have the documentation to back it up. Yeah, uh, yo, are you far enough, Hess, are you far enough away that I could smoke this now? Thank you. Yeah, man, can I get your lighter? Thank you, man. Huh? And fucking assholes attacked me because I was filming and documenting them doing illegal shit. I got it on video. He was a witness to it. Hmm? It's, I've been in the don't, don't, it's on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I didn't hear what you said, so. That didn't hear what I said. I don't think it did, because you were right next to me. How about I try to get you or try to get there? The funny thing is, he's a construction worker. Uh, him. The one in the black. Uh-huh. And I straight took it. Where he hit you at? In the face. The door down this way. That way he knows he's busted down that way. Yeah. Down that way is our property. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. He put his hands on me. I told him, get it, get your fucking hands off me. And he, he fucking put his hands on me again. And I... Tried to restrain his arms and get his arms off of me, and he turned and swung and hit me. At one point, he ended up on my back, and I bent his finger all the way back to his wrist because he was gripped up on my shirt. And I was trying to get him off of me. The one in the black shirt, wherever he just went, he was over there. Uh, him. Well, yeah, it'll be pointed across the doorway here. Monty, you know they're on your property, right? Yeah, I know. You know you can tell him that you want charges pressed for trespassing, right? I've already brought it up. They told me I'd have to report it to the city. Bullshit. We'll go to 641 Union Street to the MDJ's office and we'll do that when we get her for the fucking filing of a false police report for the next time. And this is all documented. And I'll be bringing my press ID too. You guys want to subpoena me for a pisser but you let a chomo go. They have no permit for any of this, sir. As far as I know, well, I know for a fact they had an illegal uh, demolition permit to take the building down in the first place. And I tried telling everybody from the court that they were going to end up being on our property. Oh, no, Mr. Court, you don't know what he's talking about. I see the wall. I knew where it was going to be. They want to say I was. They want to say, "Oh, you stepped in his concrete. That was aggressive." Doesn't give him the right to put his hands on me. If, I did step in the concrete. Look at my look at my sandals. But the way he even described it was, "Oh, you were standing here and you turned your camera." Yeah. So okay. So I turned and stepped in concrete on public property. And. 
Is that a crime? No? That doesn't give him the right to put his hands on me? He did not feel like... That one. The short hair one. Standing. That was the first one. Then the black dude in the black shirt came up. And then he put his hands on me. So, Monty, you have to go to... Monty, you have to go to the city to have criminal charges pressed when they're clearly trespassing on your property? Yeah, with the cops here. Yes, with the cops here. That don't make sense at all. That don't make any sense, Hess. And you're supposed to be a supervisor and your one cop don't even know the crimes codes? And he admits to it? Really? Uh, let it go really? really? That's going to be an awful lot of complaints. Being, Maybe even some he's lawsuits. Being about it. I want to be decent back. I'm being decent. I'm just voicing my opinion. I'm not cussing. I'm not yelling. I'm just a loud talker. I'm, I'm asking a question. As a reporter with a press ID, I'm allowed to do that. You can say that. That's an act. That's an absolutely acceptable answer and a professional one. Thank you for that. But your other officers, you need to teach them to respect the people that pay their salaries. And it doesn't matter if it's concrete. It's on public property. People step in it all the time. People write their names in it. Maybe there might be some names written in it tonight. Who knows? People might ride their bikes over it. Oh, no, sir. I ride my bike through here all the time. I don't want to get concrete on my tire. You hear that, sir? He rides his bike through here. All the time. There's a lot of people who ride their bikes through here. That concrete's going to get messed up. Does that give them a right to put their hands on them? If someone put their hands on me, they're going to take it out with the family. And remember, I had a knife on me in my pocket the whole time. If I wanted to be aggressive, I could have been. I wasn't. They put their hands on me. Immediately when they came up, they were unprofessional and disrespectful, sir. And I just want you to know, I'm throwing this out. I'm not approaching you for any nefarious reasons. I ain't trying to litter. <laughs> but seriously, they're, they're sitting right there. There's video proof of them trespassing. There's video proof of them assaulting someone. And there's a street camera right there. There's 50 fucking cameras on that building alone. Go around and count all them security cameras. And she filed a false police report on me and mommy before. Seems like the police department's protecting them. Get it ironed out when we go downtown. I didn't even get an email to send that stuff to. Can I have a card with an email on it? They left. There's one car, two cars. That's your car. Who's the other officer? He's in the store. In in Mario's store. And was it was it Whitmer? Because he was he was the he was the only one who spoke who acted professional. The other two that stood with him, they they didn't say anything, but they also didn't act unprofessional. The first two that showed up, completely unnecessary. You think it's appropriate for officers to call citizens who pay their salaries idiots like you? I'm allowed to ask questions. That's fine. You can you can say no, no comment. No comment. I'm gonna say a blanket no comment right now. I can still ask questions.
that one and the black dude in the black shirt. That one. Them two. I don't know why they acting tough. Because they think they're going to get away with it because they think the police are protecting them. But if, it was, if it was a young boy like me, he would have gotten their butt work. I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer. He didn't beat me. He, he didn't beat me. No, I know, I'm just saying. He don't know my history. I know, I'm just saying. Like, he honestly people, don't know my history. Older people like messing with older guys. They won't mess with little young boys. Because they know young boys will put them on their ass. I don't know if someone touches me, I'm putting them on the ass. I don't give a fuck what a cop says or not. I don't like these cops out here. Hey, so if you push me first, I never pushed you first, buddy. I never pushed you first. I have the video of it. You came up and I have eyewitnesses. You stop trying to lie. Why the fuck you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Ooh, girl, just keep on lying. <laughs> I got a fucking video of it. He comes up and puts, you get like that to me, I'm going to put my hands. I said, I'm on public property. He pushed me, grabbed me. So I grabbed his hand to get him off of me.